so i started my journey with tax filing for taxi drivers in india uh, very niche very like out of the box um, as while uh, with kpmg a lot of people thought you know are you really taking your right step um, is it all required do you even can build an ecosystem of something of this sort but today from the journey of tax filing to taxi drivers to building a, a neo bank for urban low income household you know it's 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 been like uh, powerful 6 years more than 30000 hours on the ground meeting more than 2 lakh gig workforce personally traveling 20 cities just being on on the backpack understanding what exactly this this gig segment the cabbies the drivers the truck drivers their families their children you know it's been an amazing journey indeed <laughs> as a child um, i've always been independent and my dad denied a 1000 rupee mobile phone <laughs> thanks to his denials uh, he once in 2004 he said just go earn money and you'll realize and i i did not take it so seriously but i really wanted a mobile phone so that's how i started my journey and i've done a lot of more than 800 odd gigs uh, you name a registration job you name giving a flyers uh, on the street or you know doing a research for tvs kuti pep or working on putting a marathon together in bangalore chennai with program international uh, always did gig always did something that was that made me as a women and as an independent person um, that somehow was there and that experience was very exceptional i should say um, there was a point when i took my masters of commerce i said no 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 i i really want to focus on my education but that uh, be to build something of my own was always been there my father ran a provision stores uh, no one in the family like you know uh, la- largely all are engineers doctors everything i'm the black sheep and always remain there um uh, sometimes rejections are very important you know it it gives you a make or break in your life i think if you want to start if if you want to aim at uh, building something you should be in that ecosystem so that ecosystem for me was ink talks ink talks was a team which got tech talks to india i said i could not afford to go and be part of a conference which was 60000 or 1 lakh i said let's just go work you know i put my papers uh, in my teaching job and i said any work that you give lakshmi i'm going to work with you so 3 3 and a half years i worked with the uh, ink talks uh, you know worked on the uh, program special projects met more than like 300 to 400 entrepreneurs learned a lot from their mistakes it's better to learn from others mistakes um uh, had this idea of tax filing uh, started with free tax filing campaigns on the ground um you know i think uh, um, even someone wakes me up in the middle of the night and asks me what was the uh, what's the best day of your life the day i got my per- official permission in bangalore international airport to set up a financial desk you know i i almost every uh, every day used to we used to go from 4 am to 7 am go near the driver parking areas he was saying that are you interested in tax filing do you want to claim your tax refunds just to be very niche specific on you know in build, build, building a larger ecosystem was, did you feel uh, less approachable being a woman no i never I, to be very honest till date i never felt i never even demarcate myself as women men everything i still feel i'm just part of all of them i think it's it's such a uh, adorable community you know i really like them you know um, uh, we had a 80 square foot office uh, the cabbies and all you know if even if you just go back and talk and say a uh, cab dost or anything right you know we used to get grains that they grow vegetables that they grow um i used i i used to enter a, you know my workplace works my workspace was in a driver parking area um you know what you see out in a airport is you know you need a cab in a minute but they wait for almost 4 to 5 hours to get that one ride and the parking area uh, has around 30 40000 drivers i used to just walk in um uh, like you know like as if the, it's it's like my kingdom kind of a thing you know i i miss that i genuinely miss that uh, there are days i've sat and uh, a coffee shop with big work for said ha ha bhaiya what are you doing what's up 
and they've asked, are you sure, are you all fine, who's taking care of, you know, the, the concern levels that the gig workforce had is like, like exemplary. Today, I'm, I'm, I feel very contented that uh, I found a, a, a larger family than just my own family. And this is never a bias of you being a woman or a man or, you know, all they realize that this is a team that's working to solve a financial problem for us. Like I said, sometimes rejections are the most important thing. Uh, um, in a very nutshell, in 30 seconds, I had a choice of a... Uh, a 10 year relationship or a or an idea with a 10 customers and I chose this and I had a choice um, I come from a very orthodox Brahmin family where business or fundraise my father has never taken a single rupee loan from outside for he's 74 now you know he's if I even go say I'm, I'm bringing equity or something it's against of his rules you know so uh, to disrupt that kind of a mindset at family was different and my mother is like the powerhouse um, uh, she said do everything that you want to try um, and uh, there was a point where I took a three years off from the family and my mother supported me and she said you know um, everyone has everyone finds a family everyone have children everyone uh, it's, it's a common thing you know and you have that vision you have the passion it's okay it's okay to fail but try tomorrow you should never have regrets you know that that kind of a ecosystem from, from my mother uh, is what I am today. The most important capital that everyone needs to have, not just entrepreneurs, is emotional capital. The, the day, the moment you have the ability, you have an ability to handle your emotional capital, everything is possible. friend you know I have two strong male co-founders you know um, uh, Shamaya Daritri you know you should have the patience to handle the entire thread so that it thinks you know uh, when you have all the right set of people strong ideas strong conversations come but the thin line demarcation is how do you handle the situation I think uh, women are proactive men you know <laughs> That's that's I that's what I personally feel, you know. Uh, and you know, sometimes being diplomat is also the the need of the hour. You know, you, you cannot be cutthroat at left, right, and center. And uh, uh, as a personality, uh, you know, that's one of one of one of the best traits that you know someone can pick up if you're really building skills and if you're building an organization. One and uh, 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 sometimes what happens is. Uh, you need to raise your hands when you cannot do things. We are not superhumans. We are just normal human beings. I am very clear when I, even in a, when you when you go for a conversation when you want to pitch something when you want to create something. Boss, each of us have our own capacities, and please understand that build your core competency, and you don't need to build entire thing. You know, go ask. There's, there's nothing shameful, you know, there's, there's no men, there's no women, there's a team. I don't even mind going and asking my security guard, saying, does this card look good? You know, because at the end of the day, we're building it for them, right? So this learning at every level. Uh, I have always uh, relied more on my co-founders, uh, day in, day out. Um, uh, the, the, the more you build your acceptance level, the appetite to acceptance, the more you build the appetite to acceptance is the more uh, room to grow, <clears throat> right? So, uh, there are a lot of times people have asked, you know, do you understand tech? Do you understand on the ground operations? Uh, do you understand, uh, 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 you know, finance? Uh, all of these come, you know, at the same time as a counter fact, I ask, do you understand partners? Do you understand how to build customers? Do you understand how to build a community? Please know what is, you know, please understand what exactly that you can bring on to the table. And focus, build that. When you don't have something, bring the right set of people. The only 
friendly advice don't think you're a female entrepreneur <laughs> <laughs> let's go friends just let's let's building go. business is same the same mantra concentrate on are you getting a paying customer the day you have a paying customer is the day you're actually building business period